Hello, it's Bento. In this video, I will explain the congruent expression of mathematics in the most understandable way in the world. There are an important formula. A is congruent to B module M. This sentence means the situation like this. A divided by M is P remainder of C and D B divided by N is Q remainder of C. Uh, in this case, the point is that the remainders are the same. This is an example. 7 is congruent to 10 module 3. This means 7 divided by 3 is 2 remainder of 1 and 10 divided by 3 is 3 remainder of 1. <clears throat> the remainders are the same. Look at this picture. You can understand the yellow part Arrow parts are the remainders. If you are told to make 3 cm ribbons, as many as possible, the yellow parts, the remainders, will be, will be thrown away. Illustration. To summarize, you can understand this equation, this red equation, by three points. The first, first point is, A and B means length of belts, like the picture below. And the second point is mod n means please separate every n. And lastly, the third point is this mark means the length of the remaining ribbon is the same, are the same. Okay, let's solve an example. X plus X plus 5 is congruent to 1, module 7, and the form X is congruent to A, module M. Okay, I'll explain. There is two belts. There are two belts. One is a belt with a length of x plus 5 centimeters, and the other is a belt with a, with a length of 1 centimeter. And modulo 7 means please separate every 7 centimeters or cut with scissors every 7 centimeters. If you cut the belt, the length of the remaining wheel ribbons will be 1. And then this expression can be transformed to this. Can you guess the reason? If you had 8 cm ribbon, the remainder will be 1 as is the case of 1 cm ribbon. And then uh, you can subtract 5 from the both sides because the remainders will be the same if you remove 5 cm five centimeters from the edges like this. Okay, do you understand? Okay, let's move on to the next theme. Uh, sorry. Uh, there are two steps to solve this question. So, please remember these steps. Okay, next. Think about the definition. Um, this script, uh, sorry, this expression can be transformed to this. If you subtract B from the both sides. This red expression means this equation. A minus B is a multiple of N. So, the definition is this. Please remember. If it's difficult for you to remember, this picture will help you comprehend it. Next, multiplication. A is congruent to B module N. If you multiply the both, both sides by N, you can get this new expression. I'll show you an example. A is 7, B is 10, and N is 3. Then, this expression appears. And if you, if you multiply the both sides, by 2, then you can get this equation. In fact, this expression is correct. Then, let's use the definition. Uh, sorry, sorry, uh, before this. Uh, okay, next. <clears throat> let's use the definition. MA is congruent to MB module M. So, uh, a minus B multiplied by M is congruent to 0 modulo M. 
M means A minus B multiplied by N, M is a multiple of N. So, I'll show you some examples. 3x is congruent to 0, module 9. This means 3x is a multiple of 9. Therefore, x has to be a multiple of 3. Next, 6x is congruent to 0, module 8. This means 6x is a multiple of 8. So, x has to be a multiple of 4. Okay, ah, uh, sorry. Uh, you can use the, this definition here, uh, the transformation. Review of, uh, binom so let's review binomial theorem. Okay, this part is so important because all of them are multiples of A. So we can interpret this long, long equation as the two parts. One is a big, big multiple of A and this orange part, uh, B to N. To summarize, you can wrap this part with a common factor A and this equation holds. Okay. Please remember the uh, equation. This is an important formula. <clears throat> okay, um, next I'll talk about the formula or expression for powers. If A is congruent to B modulo M, then, uh, then A to M and B to N are also congruent modulo M. Now I will explain. In this case, A is PN and C and uh, B is QN and C. Of course, the remainders are the same number C. This can transform, uh, sorry, uh, so from A, you can, you can make P ribbons. Sorry, the spell is wrong. But, uh, from B, uh, you can, you can make Q ribbons. This, uh, sorry, uh, they are, they are same. This can transform to this equation, and this can do. Okay, I'll wait for 10 seconds, so please consider the reason why these transformations are possible. Okay, from these parts, ribbons can be created without any remainders. So, the remainders will be the same, will be the same. So, this expression is always correct if A is congruent to B module M. Okay. The Okay, I'll show you an example. Uh, express 5x is congruent to 3 modulo 4 in the form x is congruent a modulo m. Uh, in this, uh, in this time, uh, a is smaller than m. Okay, 5x is congruent to 3, uh, so, and this transformation is are possible. And, uh, you can subtract 15 from both sides, so, and, uh, pre please wrap it by 5. Okay, so this expression means x minus 3 uh, multiplied by 5 is 4k, a multiple of 4. k is an integer. So this part, x minus 3 is a multiple of 4. So uh, we can interpret x minus 3 is 4L. L is another integer. So uh, therefore, x minus 3 is congruent to 0 modulo 4. 
So the answer is this. Okay. Collection of formula. Okay, now let's check the important formulas. If A is congruent to B modulo M, then uh, A plus C is congruent to B plus C, and A minus C is congruent to B minus C, and A C is congruent to B B C, and A to N is congruent to B to N. These this formula is so important, so please, please remember. And the last one is fifth formula. The fifth formula is not perfect formula. So A divided by C is not always congruent to B divided by C. So please don't use it. So you can use these four formulas, but this is not recommended. Okay. And uh, you can use, uh, sorry, you can use one of the formulas I just mentioned in this example here. Here are this uh, transformation. But please pay attention to this part. You can't use the fifth formula. That is wrong. So please use the definition instead of this wrong formula. Okay? Okay. Uh, that's all. Thank you very much for listening to, uh, listening this video video.